Hi, this is Staroida and welcome to my next video. Uh, you are hearing well, uh, I am speaking in English. This video will be whole in English. And if you don't understand English, you might want to skip this video and wait for the next one because that will be of course in Czech language. So, let's go. So, why am I doing this video in English? You might wonder. Uh, it was a quick idea because, uh, as you might know, it will be a long story. Uh, as you might know, I'm planning to change my job, to change my career. And I'm looking f uh, to find a job in Prague. And I'm expecting that the English will be uh, like the strong requirement for, the, for this position because I have high ambitions and so. So my plan was to find uh, English girls, uh, like English lessons in Liberec, uh to uh, enhance my English, to improve it because I have not used it for a long time. So I started with that and yesterday I was in, the, in this uh, English like school it's called Castle English. It's situated near a zoo, zoo in Liberec. And uh, it was like some starting conversation and we arranged some courses together and it was great. And it, it inspired me to, to do this video. So it, it, I hope it will not be long. It won't be long because uh, I'm not sure I'm how long I will be uh, able to talk like that, but let's see. So the purpose of this video is to uh, tell you uh, how uh, did I learn English and how it all became to this point. So uh, I started uh, learning or studying English like when I was like 10 years old, when my parents sent me to some pri private uh, teacher, pri private English teacher with some other kids. Uh, and there I learned uh, words like squirrel and colors and animals and, and so on. Uh, then uh, uh, I went to a grammar school in Czech language gymnasium, private grammar school for eight years. And there, of course, we had English as a main uh, language and also we had a second language, German language and Latin and so on. And I'm very glad that at this grammar school I had a very good teacher. For that, for whole eight years, we were two groups uh, in our class, and uh, we were the first group, and we had the same teacher for all eight years. And the second group, there were uh, not uh, as in a such good position because they had like five different teachers during the, these eight years. Not so good for them, but uh, this is how it goes. So I had very good teacher, she was quite strict, but also she uh, taught us very well. So this was uh, like some basics, of course, and I, uh, I knew grammar, I knew uh, vocabulary words, but I was not able to talk anything like that. Uh, of course, I uh, learned a lot about English from uh, playing computer games. So for example, uh, one of my first wor word I learned from games is Harvest, where I was playing uh, Dune 2, a strategy game. And there was this vehicle harvester and I knew what the harvest means and move and attack and so on. And I learned many, uh, many new words and uh, I listened to English in many other games, like in, in Diablo, so I know English words for different uh, medieval weapons and so on. <laughs> Very useful vocabulary. And of course, I uh, I watch movies and series in English with subtitles. And I refuse to uh, watch uh, movies which are dubbed into the Czech language. Is it the right word? I think so. So I learn English like that. But. Uh, all these experiences, you might uh, have them as well, uh, they don't uh, teach you how to talk in English, I think, or they don't teach you how to not be afraid to talk in English. So there was uh, an another set of experiences for me, uh, which led me to, to, to this day. 
uh, first uh, first stronger experience with talking in English was in my first uh, job in Prague. It was a consultant company where we dealt with some projects, European projects and so on. And I was hired there as a, some kind of IT support or administrative support. But later on, uh, there was an international project and uh, the girl uh, before me who led the project, she left uh, the, uh, the company and I was somehow chosen to do the job after her. So I managed this project like for a year and a half. Uh, so it also involves some communication in English uh, with emails, uh, writing some reports, reading reports, and also presenting some uh, outputs of our work to, to the international co uh, colleagues. So uh, that was like the first experience for me where I had to publicly speak in English and it was very terrifying, but I somehow managed that. <laughs> uh, so, and the project ended. Then I left the, this job and went for another, where I was a, a programmer, web developer. So no English at all, maybe reading some documentation. And also it happened that I became a project manager as well there, because we had some international project, some international platform, which we helped to develop. And I became like the project manager for, for this part and my job was to communicate with uh, different agencies in other countries of the, of the big company. And I have to de deal with them about uh, deploying the new web to their, to their country and so on. So it involved like daily communication in English with emails, uh, phone confer conferences and so on. So it was also a very good experience for this. And uh, later on, I hated this job and I had to quit that. But it was at the time I was already in Liberec, so I quit this job and find my current job, which I also want to leave now. Uh, maybe the, all these experiences would not help me to not be afraid to talk in English. Uh, because uh, the true story is, and I told them many times already, uh, it's the one moment I... Uh, understand it fully I like fallen deeply into the English thinking and speaking and from this point I'm not afraid to talk like that it was when I was in Netherlands like for 14 days it was some kind of international course for young people and so on and there there was also a Czech group with me but I did not talk too much to them because I didn't we were not like the same kind of people, but I uh, became friends with Italians and some uh, uh, guys and girls from Netherlands and other countries. And there was that one time, it was one day, uh, I don't know which one, but uh, like every day ended with some drinking beer and so on, some uh, party to the night. And this, it was at night where we were. Uh, talking with these Italians, uh, we, we had uh, many beers and some joints and so on, Netherlands, and we were like discussing the strong topics like universe and philosophy and so on, and I was very like, uh, like high, not with weed, but also alcohol and so on, and still I wanted to talk about this, all, all these things, and th that was the twitch that I, uh, I was like, nearly, I wasn't able to talk like at all because my jaw was like eh. but still I wanted to, to to speak about all these topics and there was the switch where I stopped like thinking in Czech language and translating it to English but I started to talk immediately in English so like this whole 14 days in Netherlands was uh, was like opening experience for me about this so this was like before the, the last job where I was the project manager as well, so it helped me in the job as well. Okay, so uh, right now I'm f it is five years, I'm in the current job and I want to leave that. So like for these five years I haven't used English at all. I only like watch movies and series and watch YouTube videos and so on. I don't need subtitles and as well. 
as I understand like everything. I also read books, some books in English, because I have my favorite uh, science, science fiction author, which I will talk about in some next video about books, which I have promised a long time ago and still not deliver. Uh, so I'm I read some of his books in English because they are not uh, available in Czech language. Like he wrote like 30 books and only five of them are translated into Czech language or six or seven. So I have my Kindle and there I have a PDF with with the book and it's very hard English to understand uh, and I'm not able to understand all the words because the writer itself he has very uh, large like set of words, large vocabulary, vocabulary, I never knew how to pronounce this word, vocabulary, no. but in the uh, in this Kindle I have an application like Oxford Dic Dictionary, it's not dictionary which translates these words into Czech language, but it's, it's explanatory dictionary, so where there is some kind of word, maybe some uh, word for a plant or tree, I don't understand, I move the cursor to the word and there is the explanation in English what does that word mean. So uh, that has uh, two, two outcomes. I know what this word mean but also I learn about this word in English so I'm learning English still with that. Okay so, so that was some uh, side story but uh, uh, overall we are at the end. So my plan is to uh, change the uh, current job, look for some job in Prague. Uh, I might even look for position, which is whole in English. So that's why I want to improve my English. So this level I'm talking right now, I'm not satisfied with that, satisfied with that at all, because I like words, I like vocabulary, my pronunciation is not great, my grammar is uh, lacking. Uh, but uh, the like, uh, teacher in the uh, English school I went yesterday, he told me that I I talk quite good, so that helped me a lot. But still, I have uh, work to do on that. So like, I have like three months now or two months to improve that and to prepare myself for the job interview and so on. Because I want to uh, aspire for a position which is the same I'm doing right now, so I don't need to prepare for that too much. I will uh, I will check some theory, some, some background, some uh, other like approaches to my to my position, which is product manager, IT product manager. So, but I don't need to prepare for that too much. I also do, don't need to prepare for the job interview itself, because I think I'm good at that. Uh, I don't need to prepare my CV too much because it's already written in English, so I have to update it on on a little bit. I have a LinkedIn profile which is also uh, uh, actual, so I don't need to uh, refresh that too much either. So the English is like the main 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 point for that, and also the uh, this English course and teaching myself English is a way for me how to uh, like active activize to start the process of job change for me. So when I will start the, uh, learning the English, I will still think about this job change and I will move myself like fully to this new position. <laughs> 18 minutes. Now oh, there is also some part with music and so on. Okay, so that's all. Uh, I really am. Uh, I'm really curious if there is someone who did watch this video t till the end. So if you you are that guy, thank you very much. If you like this video, give it a like. Don't share that because uh, I uh, this is a very unique video for me, and I'm not planning to do any English videos. Maybe later. Maybe when I will finish the English course or maybe when I will find the job I can make another video to see myself or you could see how how did I improve my English let's see okay you can leave a comment uh, I would be really glad if you would comment this video in English as well but 
I don't force you to do that. Maybe you will write the comment just before you see this segment of this video. But that's it. Okay, mm, what are you doing? Okay, so that's all for this video. There was some difficult traffic situation. Uh, thank you for watching this video and we will see each other in the next video which will be of course in Czech language. Hi! Or cheers or whatever.